Hey everybody, this is Dave. I am here today to do a quick tutorial on that thing behind me. It is the IEXOS 100 PMC-8 Equatorial Mount by Explorer Scientific. I want to get through this pretty quickly. I'm going to do this in a series of videos because there's just not a lot out there on this mount and it took me about a year and a half to get to where I'm at and I'm hoping I could uh, help anybody along to get to where I'm at because there's just not a lot of information out there about this thing. So I'm going to do this in um, several different videos and I'm going to start out right now with just the basics like what you can expect once you open that box. And there it is. What you can expect when you open the box for the first time. Obviously you're going to get this. You're going to get the, the mount itself. You're going to get the stainless steel tripod you're going to get this battery holder. You will get a battery pack which requires, I believe it's 8C batteries to power this mount. I do believe the updated version of this mount it has a rechargeable battery pack. Mine does not. You can get, you will get two counterweights. I've added a third. You're going to get the counterweight shaft. And that is what you will get when you open the box. Now I do have an added feature on mine. It's the alt azimuth adjuster here. This is sold separately. So there you have it in a nutshell. That's what you're going to get when you open that box. Um, the price point as of today, which, I, is, which I'm in what, April 5th, 2020, was $349.99. When I bought it a couple years ago, it was $399. The one today does not have um, the updated battery pack, which is a rechargeable battery pack. Build quality of this, I think it's pretty well. It's pretty solid. The only thing that I would change if I were you, if you could afford it, was get the uh, updated uh, tripod. But other than that, it's it's solid. And over the next few video tutorials I'm going to have, um, I'll go over some of the features. I'll show you how I've got mine set up. And um, I hope this helps you guys because there's just nothing out there that explains this mount. So hopefully I'll see you guys. Uh, you'll tune in for the next couple of videos. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down there. And see you all next time.